So we're busy building some logic <laughs> for our robot cars next year, whether or not they follow the line or not. If the two middle light sensors are on, yeah. then it, the car is going straight. If only the left one is on, then it needs to go left. There's a nice truth table determining the logic of the car and whether or not it should turn left, right, go straight, or report a fault. And so we're, busy, we're actually busy basically working towards one of our third year projects right now. And it's really cool. Can I get S1 and S4? We should get stop fault. Check. We, we have successfully finished our board. Uh, Congrats, guys. Well done. Uh, just insurance in case it doesn't work. Look, all of the switches do work. And I press all four. Mitch, if you pull out a wire during this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it works, guys. It works. Just let it be known. It works. Mika, Jan, Mitch, and Stefan's project works 100%. I'm here with Greg and Darren. How, how was your day? Um, long. No, actually, it was fine. It was good. It was good. Very yeah. good day. Why? What happened? <laughs> long day. Well, I didn't have a lot of classes. I had three classes. Must be nice, eh? Industrial yeah. engineering, eh, Greg? Oh, yeah. my. I'm actually <laughs> going to jump off. <laughs> no. Come to the computer engineering side of things. It's going well. No. <laughs> but no, all jokes aside, um, industrial engineering is also fucking difficult. And do a lot of the same modules as us. All the same maths, all the same stats, all that kind of stuff. And every engineering degree is difficult. If you can complete an engineering degree, especially one at Tux. Ah! If you can complete any engineering degree, especially one at Tux, you have my utmost respect. 10 hours on campus today, 7.30 to 5.30. Off to hockey practice now for a bit of relief. Always look to you for a warm embrace that kept me safe and free from harm. These days, everything has changed. Pull me through my darkest days, a constant phase where everything's a game. Always stuck in a How's engineering, Paul? It's good. Um, it's hard. I failed a couple of tests today. So. <laughs> Didn't we all? But yeah. It's going. It's going. Good stuff. I'm very glad. It is a uh, certain someone's birthday today. Happy birthday, Stevie. Thank you. Thank you, vlog, for sticking me through. Yeah. Although you've just known only for two years or a year and a half. Yeah. But yeah, thank you. Hope it's a good one. The uh, big 20. I believe it would be. No, no more teenager. No, not anymore. Now, now I'm getting old now. Does that mean I'm the I'm last skin. teenager amongst our family? <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone had their birthday yet this year? Yes. So I'm the, the last one, the youngest one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like last good. test. It's good. Yeah, I'll have more life to live. Michael, how are you today? I'm um, very good, thank you. Yourself, Mitch. Wonderful. And vlog. Yeah, yeah. We just wrote a circus test and it was good. James eating a sandwich. All is well. Very nice. So, Tuttles, how are you this lovely Friday? We are on a young break quickly between lectures now, chilling in the sun, getting that vitamin D. They're busy setting up a whole bit of construction here because it looks like it is a uh, open day at Tux tomorrow. My sister's actually coming to see what's cracking, so that'll be cool. But yeah, busy day. Mikey, what's say yeah? Not much. All this missioning behind me on this grass here is getting set up for tomorrow's open day at Tux. My sister's actually coming as well, so it'll be interesting to see and finally show my parents around the campus where I've been spending weeks and weeks of work. I'm back in the labs this afternoon, just working on our practical again. Our count uh, LEDs for some reason not working. It's coming on intermittently, which it's not supposed to do. So obviously got a loose connection yeah, somewhere. It, like, it just goes on and even but when otherwise, it's on, all is well. Uh, Jay and Chris. <laughs> 
Hi there. Hey. How are you doing? All right, thanks to you. Good, good. Oh, by the way, this is the line that our robot cars next year will have to follow in order to successfully compete complete the robot car project next year. Um, this is from a previous project, obviously, but I think like they give us a spec where we have to follow the the green line or something, and then it has to follow it while crossing all the other lines without getting distracted by the other lines. And on the real board, they've got different they've got these circular dots on different um, parts of the colors, and then. And then when it goes over certain dots, it has to count. If it goes off the track, it has to stop and it has to reverse. And the thing we're building at the moment is the logic that's for the switches, for the light sensors that determine whether or not it's on the light, on the, on the line or off the line. And that's what these bad boys are. We're just having a problem finding some capacitors that I'd use at the moment. All of the boys are here and all of the boys are grafting. Wonderful. Engineering at its finest. Basically, I've taken a trip around all the labs and the general consensus is that no one knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> sense of just that. Sense of, sense of that. <laughs> you just cracked sense of the problem. Pony Michael, we've entered the I'll explain. We do know what we we do know what we're doing. I mean, if you know what that is, what's happening there, you know what you're doing. Okay, just like full disclaimer. Nobody knows what they're doing until they've done it for like many many years of doing it. I'm talking about in general. And even then people manage to blow up nuclear reactors. So yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. So having done this for like twenty minutes, this is as far as we've got. I'm very proud of it. So um, That is cool, it looks like a pipe. Okay, yeah, so that's the input. It's perfectly squared, but the output is delayed and with Oh, that makes so much sense. Because yeah. that's as it that's the discrete value as it goes from zero to Oh it's just like understand. A lot of go, they go, they go. <laughs> the like boy. Oh, I can't see you. Shine the torch on yourself. I like this. Yes, it's Jason. <laughs> Just got back from Stephen's place. Um, thanks for the bride, bro. It was beautiful and lovely. And I hope you had an amazing birthday. <sighs> it's 25 past 1 now. Time to go to bed because there's a hockey match happening early tomorrow morning. And I've got to win tomorrow. It's my ambition to score a goal before the end of university. I've never scored a goal in a hockey match before because I always played defense. And it is my ambition to score a goal. At least one goal before the end of varsity. I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, been a good week, a long week, but uh, productive. See you in the morning. And it's four past five in the afternoon now. Hockey game this morning never actually happened because Tower, that's the name of one of the reses, failed to um, bring a whole team to our match and so they forfeited the match and we just played like 20 minutes of like messing around fun game just to uh, have a quick run in the morning and get some fitness in. Uh, so we automatically win and I think we're at the top of our league now so we should definitely be moving up to the next league next year but still frustrating that early on a Saturday morning I had to get up and go to the fields only to have some other people not pitch. But regardless, just doing some maths, some 263, that is a graph of the newton rapson iteration for f of x is equal to x times the function of e to the power of minus x, divergent sequence, interesting stuff. And yeah, I cleaned my room, it looks amazing. It's amazing how much better you feel when your room is clean. And just doing work. I'm probably going to go to bed early tonight and then graph the whole day tomorrow, because injury week starts on Monday, and I need to do really well for a change. Yeah. Living by yourself is terrible for keeping a consistent eating schedule. It's quarter to nine now and I'm only eating dinner now. But um, you just so easy like get caught up in work and then like, oh, but I don't want to get up and go make food or that. Ugh, it's terrible. But um, I guess when you're going to bed really late, it's, it's fine to eat a bit later. Um, got some mince tonight with some gem squash and then some pasta underneath. Bulking finishes on tomorrow, Sunday, Sunday. Um, tomorrow is the last day that I will be trying to put on weight. And then from then uh, onwards towards the summer season and then and for seven cycle challenge and that, do a lot more running, do a lot more cardio, um, eat a bit less, uh, high reps, less one rep maxes and that at gym. Try to lose some of the weight I've put on because I've gained just under 10 kilograms since January, which is a lot and lots of it is muscle, but I'm sure there's also quite a lot of fat in there. So 
eager to lose it and see how much lean muscle mass I've actually gained in the course of the year. Because it's been going really well in the past few weeks with regards to eating and um, putting on size. So we'll see. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this. I've been watching, um, at the moment, I've been watching Crash Course Computer Science uh, videos. They're really interesting and I'm actually learning a lot about... Eh. And I've actually been learning a lot about my own degree from this Crash Course Computer Science video series. So instead of watching shit on YouTube and stuff while I eat dinner, um, watch something educational. Learn something even more about my degree. But yeah. Every day, found